Well, greetings St. Paul's family. Uh, what does God teach you in this long and difficult season? Strange question, but I wonder if you've learnt to be helpless yet. Uh, if you have, it will make all the difference in your communing with God in prayer. Uh, the last time I connected with you about prayer, I encouraged us to pray like children because the Bible tells us that the God of this universe is our loving, merciful, all-powerful Father. We are his kids. Uh, little children are good at helplessness. It's probably what they do best. But as any parent knows, it does not take long before the struggle for independence begins. And as adults, we soon forget how important helplessness is. In fact, we spend our whole life fighting against it. We don't like it. We instinctively approach everything confident of our own abilities. God wants us to come to him empty-handed, weary, heavy-laden, dependent. You see, prayer is an expression of who we actually are. We are, in fact, living in completeness. We are helpless and powerless in John's Gospel. We see again and again people coming to Jesus because they are helpless. Help Jesus, we've got no wine in chapter 2. The Samaritan woman with no water in chapter 4. Later in chapter 4, the official son has no health. Then there's the crippled man and Beth Esther needing help to get in the water in chapter 5. The crowd has no bread in chapter 6. The blind man has no sight in chapter 9. And Lazarus has no life in chapter 11. All helpless, powerless. The gospel, God's free gift of grace in Jesus, only works when we realise we are helpless. Prayer only works when we realise we are helpless. We can't do life on our own. Prayer, in fact, mirrors the gospel. You see, in the gospel... The Father takes us as we are because of Jesus and gives us his life, of gift, his gift of salvation. Uh, in prayer, the Father receives us as we are because of Jesus and gives us his gift of help. We look at the inadequacy of our praying and think something is wrong with us. God looks at the inadequacy of his son and delights in our sloppy, meandering, helpless praying. So I ask you, have you got to the point of helplessness yet? Are you feeling it, experiencing it? Can I encourage you to talk to your father about it if you are? And if not, ask your father for the gift of helplessness. It will make all the difference to your praying.